Hey guys, I'm just gonna share my experience with my serratus anterior injury I had three years ago now. It was three years ago, I was sleeping a night in a hotel. I woke up the mo in the morning and I had a serious pain back in my shoulder. It was like here. It was like someone was pushing inside of my shoulder and, and I had a pain in about like, from a scale from one to 10, it felt like an eight. So someone was like pushing inside of my shoulder. I felt that right and then. My serratus anterior had not been immobilized at that time. I was just having real pain in my shoulder. And from that moment, from that day when I woke up from the hotel, I was having really trouble sleeping. I was waking up four or five times each night and having this amount of pain inside my shoulder and I had to stand up for about 40-45 minutes for the pain to go away and then I could go back to sleep, sleep for another two three hours and then I woke up and had the same amount of pain, could go to bed, sleep for one, one and a half hour, have the same amount of pain and when I woke up I was pretty awake since I woke up from the pain from the shoulder so I was getting up standing up and working for a few hours went back to bed and this went on for two three months I went and saw a lot of physicians finally it was kind of a masseuse guy who relieved a lot of the pain and what happened then was since this was some kind of trapezius inflammation probably in my uh, right trapezius he masseuse that up and the pain kind of went away and immediately when the pain went away it was maybe a week or two between the pain went away and suddenly my serratus anterior on my right side stopped working so I can really feel like my right shoulder like dro drop down like that I can like feel it was something strange and then I, I could really feel like my uh, my scapula back here was like really winging I'm like oh this doesn't feel good <laughs> this doesn't feel right <laughs> so then I went again and saw a lot of physicians and so forth it got constated that I had a nerve injury back here somewhere that made my serratus anterior unable to move and they said that as with every nerve damage, it will take the body up to two years in order to get it kind of back in shape and then when it goes two years, your muscle will have deteriorated so much so it will take a few years more than two years in order for you to get back to full recovery. In my case, my shoulder pain went quite away. Like I could really feel that my shoulder was pretty messed up so I had to change my workout schedule. I did pretty much regular crossfit workouts before. A lot of snatching, a lot of overhead presses and stuff like that. I went from that because I am totally life scared about injuring my shoulder and you don't want to put a lot of pressure on overhead presses and overall exercises it takes a lot of responsibility on your shoulder to keep all your joints and nerves protected when you're in a state of a really weakened shoulder because when the serratus can't work as it has before your shoulder is down like a couple of centimeters and a lot of ligaments and muscles under your scapula and they will become entangled and not be able to move correctly and that will hurt your shoulder and your risk for injury is really elevated so what I did I threw away all kinds of like hard to do exercises and went down really back to basics like only exercises that I was confident with and that I felt that I, the shoulder don't need to keep itself stabilized that much so a lot of rowing a lot of like regular bench presses with the with barbells a lot of like regular weight training pretty much not all of these like muscle ups and um, cleans and uh, stuff like that and you also have to feel yourself do what you're comfortable with but take it back a notch when it comes to the technical side of your workout schedule and it took about two years for my muscle to come back to a state where I felt that the scapula didn't push back on my shoulder again. All the physicians I met with they said you could do some exercises that will activate your serratus anterior but you know when when your nerves are damaged your serratus anterior is so weak that it can pretty much take on any pressure so the only exercise that I could do that that made my serratus anterior activate 
Because the hard thing is, if you're doing a serratus anterior movements and the movement is too strenuous for your super weak serratus anterior, a lot of other muscles will go in and do the exercise for you. So you won't even enable your serratus anterior. So it's super important if you're in a situation where you feel that you want to activate your serratus anterior in order to make it regain its strength faster, you have to pick really super light exercises like the only one I could do I was laying on the floor and and doing this moment like from the side super boring movement and all the physicians I met with all the doctors and so forth they said like okay you can't pretty much stress on the buildup of your new nerves is it will still take that much time since it's a pretty static movement of the nerve building back to its proper form and proper masses because you have to build new nerve stems you know so it's pretty hard to quicken that process so I did not do any of those things like two years after I had the accident, it began to be so able that I could do some more like fun exercises more than just keeping up my original shape of routines, you know, like, so it, it takes a while, it really takes a while, but it will come back. I would say now, like my serratus anterior, this is three years after the injury and I would say that it's back by maybe 60-70% of what my left side is, but now I don't feel hold back by the serratus anterior. I can still like do all the types of exercises that I want to do and uh, yeah. So that's my experience with the serratus anterior palsy. I did this video because I did a lot of research when I got it and I didn't find anyone who talked about it. You can work out, you can do all your stuff. It will take a while though with the nerve injury thing because it takes a while for the body to regain its um, nerves pretty much. So that sucks with nerve injury. It will go away eventually. <laughs>